I just want to get like a distraction. Do you, okay. can you come over? YouTube, good morning, man. This is Matthew Rockefeller. I hope y'all having a great day wherever y'all are at. We're gonna be reacting to this girl who exposes her guy friend for wanting to dig out the guts to shimba. <laughs> nah, but for real, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things today, primarily about, you know, why a girl that has a lot of guy friends is a red flag, you know, what these guy friends mean to her, why girls will play this always oh, just a friend game and why they keep them around, and most importantly, why you wanting to be in the friend zone is literally the dumbest position you could ever put yourself in as a man. Guys, let me know down below if you like this commentary style of content. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's just hop right into it, baby. Girls can't have guy they friends. They cannot. You know why? Listen, any little problem we're going to have, you're going to go straight to your guy friend, all right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to take advantage of that. And once... Mm -hmm. If we ever break up, God forbid, guess who's going to try to get at you? Who? Your guy friend. No, he's not, because it's not even like that. So, how much you want to bet? If it's you not even like that. How much we'll you literally, bet? I'll literally... Hey, off rip, the dude is a thousand percent right, and I know most of our watchers already get this, bro. If a girl has a lot of guy friends, it's a red flag, especially if she's got one guy friend that she can't get rid of. Let me tell you why. So, if a girl has this one dude in her phone she can just not stop talking to, bro, it's nine times out of ten... They did something, bro. Real talk. And it usually involves sex. See, it, you don't just imprint a girl and have a special connection with a girl just based off emotions. Because if it's just emotions, a girl can get a dude like that a dime a dozen. No. They have a special connection usually with sex and emotions. And that's why she's having such a hard time letting go of them, alright? If the girl, for instance, right, has a lot of dudes she's talking to, a lot of male attention, what that looks like to me is that she likes the perks of being single. And she likes the attention of having multiple dudes. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just have to be aware that this is a red flag and adjust accordingly. But dude's 100% right. Call him right now. I'm right putting right on the right speaker, speaker okay. so everybody okay. can see that I'm okay. right. Okay. Yeah. Hello? What's up? Hey, so me and Davis broke up. I'm kind of, I just want to get like a distraction. Do you, okay. can you come over? Hell, hell yes. I'm not, what's your hunger or something? <laughs> bro, look at her face in the fake disbelief, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. These chicks, a thousand percent, know that these dudes want to pipe them, bro on god they know this but they play this dumb little game of oh he's just a friend so they can disarm you bro they tell you that so you can let your guard down that she can keep having these dudes in her phone and around her all types of girls bro have these types of dudes in her ig in her snapchat just constantly feeding her attention validation confidence that's why they like them so much bro have you ever seen a girl try to expose a dude off social media for being horny or thirsty right they'll show like a snapchat conversation and it's like 10 or 12 messages of this dude just messaging her and it's like yeah he's horny but if it bothers you so much why not just block him why not just block him it's because truth be told bro they like the attention that comes with it man see the game for what it is guys i told you <laughs> um, okay. i'll call you back i'm gonna send you out <laughs> I'm blocking. I'm blocking. <laughs> bro, did y'all see that, bro? Look how quickly she was willing to throw him away. Dude, if you're watching this and you're in this friend zone, you are a big, fat throwaway to this girl. This is the worst relationship position you could ever put yourself in, bro. Why would you put yourself in this? I guarantee you, this dude was there when she needed some advice. I guarantee you, this dude was there when she needed a helping hand. I guarantee you this dude was there when she needed someone to talk to, but look how quickly she was willing to just discard him and not a second thought of it, bro. See, y'all gotta understand for y'all who are in this friend zone game is that you are disposable, bro. And you are just one step away from, hey, listen, you gotta stop talking to the niggas or I'm done with you from getting cut, bro. Cut, gone, blocked. You never put yourself in this position to get friend zone, bro. Real talk. Hey, I like you. Let's go out sometime. No, I'm good. All right, cool. Move the fuck on your non-sexual attention is desirable to this girl bro do not give these girls who are giving you nothing 
all the world, bro. That, that goes beyond like relationships too, bro. Like why would I give someone, you know, more than what I'm receiving? That's an unfair relationship, bro. Do not subjugate your energy to this. Cause you'd be told, bro, I don't give a fuck enough about you to hear your problems all day. I don't give a fuck about being your emotional tampon. That's not what I'm here to do. Go find one of those weak ass niggas to do that shit with me. Cause you're not doing that shit with me. You're not doing that shit with you. You feel me? Like go talk to someone else to do that stuff, man. But guys, listen, because, oh, that shit is so irritating, bro. So. Matthew, that sounds good and all, but like, Matt, how do I deal with this? So let me tell you exactly how you play this, bro. If you are talking to a girl, you have to first understand that girls are going to do what they want to do, and there is no way, shape, or form that you should be controlling a girl. I'm not saying control a girl at all. That's actually the weakest shit you can do. All you do is you just adjust accordingly, all right? So the only time you can have this conversation, the only time you can check a girl on this is when you are A, in a committed, exclusive relationship with her, or you are B, having the conversation to initiate the committed, exclusive relationship. Nothing more, nothing less, all right? And here's how you say it. Hey, listen, I like you, and I want to take this relationship to the next level, but you have to stop talking to these dudes so much. You have to, you have to let go of those dudes. I'm not saying you have to remove them entirely from your existence or your life, but you have to stop talking to these dudes on a daily basis. If she says yes, okay, great job, bro. You got a girlfriend, but more importantly, you got her respect. If she says no, cool, let her do what she wants to do. You just adjust accordingly. So, hey, listen, you can still keep having fun with her. You can still keep seeing her, but do not commit to this girl and explore other options. That's how you play this game, man. But just most importantly, guys, never ever subjugate yourself to be in the friend zone position. That is the weakest position you could as a fucking man, bro. Recognize the red flag so you can be aware of this when you're talking, when you're dating. Recognize the red flag for what it is so you don't put yourself into really shitty situations, all right? If y'all like this style of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Deuces.